Hello everybody from Plant Reviews UK, today is the 4th of February and I would like to talk today about one of the most unusual flowers in, uh, uh, well, flowering plant really in my collection, it is Oxalis versicolor, the candy cane sorrel. Uh, this, this is a species of a flowering plant in the family Oxalidase and the genus Oxalis. Uh, the genus Oxalis is a very, very large genus of plants that um, includes several uh, different species um, actually I think more than uh, uh not sure but probably more than a hundred I will write down in the description uh, including some uh, very very uh, famous ones in cultivation like uh, the Oxalis triangularis subspecies papillonacea this is a species with uh, very beautiful purple leaves and also uh, a weed very common in the UK called Oxalis corniculata the creeping wood uh, sorrel um, that is also um, um, quite uh, um, invasive, is really one of the worst weed I found that uh, you can get in the UK. However, uh, even if uh, uh, Oxalis versicolor is uh, um, a, a pre very pretty and beautiful species, probably the one that is more common in cultivation is the Oxalis triangularis, especially the subspecies Papillonacea with purple leaves, uh, also called indeed purple false shamrock that many people have in the UK as garden plant or also as uh, ornamental indoor plants. I made a video about it um, s uh, I think two years ago and I will put it down as well as a link in the description as well as uh, at the end of the video in my um in my four videos at the end uh, that uh, I link to uh, this uh, video. However, uh, I will talk today about uh, obviously this species, the Oxalis, uh, Oxalis versicolor, the candy cane sorrel. Uh, the name candy cane is due to the fact that the flowers actually uh, resemble kind of the color of the very famous candy canes uh, in England, the United Kingdom, as well as in other countries being, being uh, white and red and this uh, color is particularly um, showy, particularly um, evident in the buds as you can see because every uh, petal uh, is mostly white uh, as edged by this rich uh, intense red and actually you can see this uh, um, pattern also on the outer petals so the name candy cane sorrel is mainly uh, due to the aspect to the um, to the appearance of the flower from the um, external part. Indeed you can see that the internal part of the flower is uh, uh, kind of pinkish white, you can barely see a pinkish reddish edge uh, at uh, on the external part of the petals. Uh, this plant is uh, pretty small, is a bulbous perennial plant, so it's good it's not an hour, you can have it uh, for a few years, I'm not sure actually about the lifespan of this plant, maybe more than a few years, uh, and it's about 8-15 centimeters tall, so um, I would say that uh, um, it is uh, a very nice addition uh, as indoor plants, you can easily find a uh, space in uh, your house uh, if you like to, to collect uh, obviously uh, plants that are a bit unusual. Uh, you can see actually the leaves themselves are very uh, peculiar and uh, while the shamrocks, uh, well these really are uh, the oxalidase in the shamrock, um, the leaves resemble very much the um, leaves of the genus Trifolium, uh, the, 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 the true shamrock really. Uh, the, um, leaves uh, of uh, the plant uh, in Oxalis versicolor are uh, kind of, uh, the three leaves are very narrow, they're not broad as other species or Oxalis or the, in the genus Trifolium, uh, so they, are, they give this kind of feathery appearance to the plant that 
uh, it is uh, quite uh, unusual so not only for the flowers but actually for the leaves themselves and uh, they have this uh, like uh, um, light green uh, very bright color so this is a plant that I like a lot also for the leaves not only for the uh, beautiful flowers uh, the um, Flowers are produced mostly in autumn and winter and uh, as uh, you can see the buds are uh, kind of tubular uh, the, they're about 2.53 centimeters long and uh, as I said the external part is uh, very characteristic of this plant uh, being uh, white uh, edged with red in every petal uh, while the, when the flowers open they are about uh, two centimeters across two centimeters in diameter and as I said they are um, I would say pinkish white this uh, is uh, yeah, the color that uh, resembles to me, while the inner part of the flower is uh, more um, greenish, uh, yellowish, and uh, it is a very pleasant color even from the inside, even if obviously, as I said, the main feature is this uh, bright candy cane pattern uh, in the external part uh, of the flower. Uh, the flowers uh, open in full sunlight as uh, today in this beautiful uh, sunny after sunny winter afternoon in Kent. We had some rain this morning but now the sun is shining and uh, uh, so you can see these uh, uh, two flowers open. Actually this one is a bit fading, this one is in perfect uh, blooming and then this one obviously is still in bud. Uh, the plant uh, um, um, the um, um, as I said, uh, opens up the flowers only in full sunlight. Uh, if it's uh, kind of cloudy or overcast, uh, usually the flowers uh, stay a little bit closed, so you can't really see them fully, fully open. A little bit uh, like happens in other plants, like for example tulips or crocuses. Uh, the, um, this plant, uh, I, well I grow this plant indoors, it can be um, kept in a frost free greenhouse and even if I found that uh, it's supposed to be hardy down to minus 5 degrees or in USDA zones uh, 7 to 9, this probably can be done only uh, if the area you live is not really, it doesn't, if it doesn't rain too much in winter. Uh, I live in Kent, southeast England, so the United, even if the Kent is really the sunniest part of England, uh, of, of the United Kingdom, we still have a lot of rain in winter uh, and autumn and spring. So I actually tried to cultivate this plant outdoors, but it didn't survive. I think it was too wet and too cold. And last year actually we had one week of temperature like minus seven last year. So this might have been really too much for the plant. So I didn't want to lose uh, another plant this time. So I decided to keep it indoors to obviously uh, enjoy the beautiful flowers and the beautiful plant uh, as much as I can as the plant is in bloom and as I said it is a nice plant also for the foliage itself. Uh, the um, species, the species Oxalis versicola reigned the um, uh, Royal Society Award of Garden Merit. In addition to this uh, very nice white and red form, there is actually another form uh, called Golden Cape that has yellow and red flowers rather than white and red like mine. However, uh, I think uh, that the contrast trust is better uh, again, uh, um, of the red against the white rather than the red against the yellow. Unfortunately, I have already too many plants at home. I couldn't get both the Oxalis versicolor colors, so I decided to go for the white and the red. Uh, again, this is a plant that, uh, like uh, most shamrocks, uh, prefer uh, full sun or at least partial shade and requires a well-drained soil. Um, 
keep it however uh, moist uh, because uh, the uh, I found this plant uh, if the soil goes completely dry doesn't really uh, like it much indeed I forgot to water it for I think a couple of days too much and some of the buds uh, died uh, before blooming however the plant is recovering I would say very well because you can see I have a few more buds coming up in addition to the one uh, sorry yeah, there is one here one second, I try to focus, sometimes it's not very easy. Yes, I have a couple here, as you can see, one here and one here. So, and another one at the back. Uh, so it's a plant that recovers very well. Uh, the plant is uh, uh, not uh, particularly rare to find in online i never found it in a gar in garden centers however online is uh, pretty common and i booked this one from a great nursery in the united kingdom it's called border alpines i'll write down the link below that has incredibly gorgeous uh, and uh, also pretty rare plants uh, this one is not particularly rare but uh, anyway i decided to buy it uh, from this uh, nursery uh, and uh, um, the plants I received from this nursery are really nice. You can see this uh, Oxalis versicolor is a really full plant. When it arrived, it was actually covered in blooms. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, do the video back then, but uh, we were having a very overcast and cloudy day, so the uh, flowers were not really uh, nicely open. So at least today I was able to show you both the bud and the beautiful opened flowers as well. Uh, so definitely if you want to buy Oxalis Versicolor, uh, Border Alpines, uh, I can definitely recommend it to you. And you have a lot of other rare plants, including one of the rarest of all I found only on this website and is uh, the Green Ixia Ixia. There is, is a plant uh, whose flowers are uh, like turquoise green, very similar in color to uh, like an Alia viridiflora and to the beautiful jade vine, the Strongylodon macrobotris. Uh, that, uh, and as far as I know, these are the only three plants that have turquoise colored uh, flowers. However, uh, about the going back to the Oxalis versicolor, the Oxalis versicolor is a plant that uh, when conditions are not uh, really um, ideal for the plant uh, goes dormant and usually this plant goes dormant uh, after blooming uh, especially when the uh, remember this South African plant so in summer many South African plants if the um, soil tends to get too dry and too hot they go dormant there are many bulbs that do this and this one I've read that uh, does the same so if it becomes dormant loses a lot of leaves uh, uh, do not throw it away uh, thinking that it's dead uh, is uh, uh, just uh, be patient and will start recovering uh, well not recovering just sprouting new leaves and new flowers as soon as the conditions will get better unfortunately for my plant last year the bulb got completely um, mushy completely uh, rotten because of the cold and the wet combined so unfortunately it was not dormant was uh, literally killed so I hope that this one will uh, stay with me instead for several years as usual I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you will be able to enjoy the beautiful uh, um, peculiar flowers and uh, foliage of this uh, very unusual plant not particularly rare and uh, not particularly difficult to keep and if you like this video would be great if you can please give a thumbs up and if you didn't like this video obviously please uh, give a thumbs down and uh, anyway I would uh, love to have your comments below both if you like and you didn't like the video a last uh, um, thing I forgot is the fragrance of the plant 
I can't smell any fragrance, so I wouldn't recommend this plant if you want to get a fragrant plant in your collection, but uh, definitely would say that um, this plant makes up for the lack of fragrance with the beautiful uh, colors of the flowers and the very unusual foliage. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.